So this is uh, Algebra 2, and I want to talk a little bit about some trig and how we can use this tool to figure out things like uh, sine of an angle or cosine of an angle. And I'll just say like sine of A or cosine of B, where A stands for my angle and uh, or B stands for my angle. So a couple things. Uh, first off, to think about, uh, we know when we're thinking about right triangle trig, um, sine, and this is true of cosine as well, it brings in an angle, so the input uh, is some sort of angle. So like A would be like 30 degrees or 120 degrees or something like that. And what it spits out is a, is a ratio. In a right triangle trig, we usually think about here's our angle, and sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, and cosine would be adjacent over hypotenuse is, is the ratio that it would spit out. We've talked a lot about like these ratios happen between uh, negative one and one um, and that sort of thing. So what I want to do is use this to estimate it. And one thing that I notice is like, let's say I had 30 degrees and I want to find sine of 30 degrees um, and I want to find cosine of 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is here. So notice that like this is zero degrees. So to here, would be a rotation of 30 degrees. So this angle in here is 30 degrees. Um, the other thing I notice is, I'm just gonna erase that point just so I can, I can see it really well. Like that spot where the edge of the circle intersects the grid, um, that, is, that is some xy, that's some point xy. So let me think about where that is at. So, and I'll think about it in terms of sine, sine of 30 degrees. Um, so if I'm thinking in triangles, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So I have a triangle right here, and notice that's a right triangle. I'm always going to draw this line back down to the x-axis. I'm just going to ground back to it no matter where I'm from. Um, and my opposite side, that's this y value, notice that it is, I can count one, two, three, four, five, See, my units aren't defined here, so I'll just say for now, that's one. So if this is five long, there's my opposite five. And my hypotenuse is this length right here. And it feels like it might be a lot of work to do it, but notice like that is just a, a radius. It swings and it's always the same distance as a radius. So if I swing it down to here, notice from here to here is 10, right? And from here to here is 10. So from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is 10. So that hypotenuse, that I can think of this as 5 over 10. So sine of 30 must be 1 half. Um, similarly, cosine of 30, I think of it as adjacent over hypotenuse. So this adjacent side, I'm going to have to do some estimating on. Looks like it comes to about here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I don't know, 8.7, 8.8? Somewhere around that. I'll also say about 8.8 .8 over 10. So if I divide that by 10, cosine, I said equals, I'm estimating, so I would say it must be about that. So there is a, a good way for me to use this tool to get at um, some measures of some angles. Now, um, notice that's all just in this first quadrant. What if, instead of sine of uh, 30 degrees and cosine of 30 degrees, I wanted to find something like sine of 150 degrees? Um, or cosine of 150 degrees. So let's see, 150 degrees is here. So, so that means that that rotation there is 150 degrees, and I get to here. This is still 10 long. Um, and notice, again, like I said, I'm always going to ground it straight down. So there's my right triangle there. So I have this 150 degrees. But my triangle is actually aligned this way. So let me think about this for a second. Sine of 150 degrees, I could still think of it as opposite over hypotenuse. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like it's up five. That's 10. So it looks like it's also one half. Which is funny because 30 degrees, which is what this would be, and 150 degrees, they end up having the same height, right? The same y value. They're both up what we're calling five. So let's do cosine of 150 
50 degrees. It's going back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about 8.8, 8.8 um, over 10. But what I notice is this is going this direction. It's going backwards, but it's actually negative. So I could say that's about 0.88. Now, a couple things uh, I want to think about with this now is, you know, I defined this as 10, but I could scale it down. What if I just started defining this length as 1 instead of 10? So then notice this wouldn't be negative 8.8 .8 anymore. These would just be little 0.1s. So this would be negative 0.88, and my cosine is just associated with my width, my x direction. Similarly with my sine, um, these would be 0.1, so this would be 0.5, and that sine is associated with my height. So now what we can do is expand our little, our, our, uh, our little bit of understanding about sine and cosine by associating sine, when we fix this to 1, as a height and cosine is a width. So let's uh, let's just do two more examples. Ooh, erase, erase, erase. And you can still think opposite over adjacent, uh, I'm sorry, opposite over hypotenuse, or adjacent over hypotenuse. That is, that works just fine. Um, but we are going to think of it as both ways at the same time. It's kind of holding two thoughts in your idea. Uh, two thoughts in your head or two ideas in your head at the same time. So let's see. Uh, let's find sine of, I don't know, 220 degrees. Let's also find cosine of 240. Let's do 240. All right, sine of 220 degrees. 220 degrees is here. All right, so if I want to draw my radius, it's right there. I'm saying that's one. Uh, there's 220 degrees. But really for sine, what I'm concerned about is the, is the height. Is this distance right here. That's like my sine value if this is one. So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, maybe 0.4 about. Again, I'm just approximating. But if I call it 0 0.64, that would be going up. So since it's going down, it's negative 0.64. About one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe a three. I'm not sure. I'm estimating. Let's do the same thing with uh, 230 degrees now. So 230 degrees is here. And notice with 230 degrees, whoops, there's 230 degrees. There's my triangle again. It always goes back to the x axis. Um, with cosine, though, I'm thinking about the width, the x value. So one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, 0.62 about, 0.62. And again, I have to worry about direction. Notice this is going to the left, so it's negative 